Welcome back guys and girls, this is Andy from Hemijoys.net um, I'm bringing to you the much anticipated uh, Sensation vs Galaxy S2 head to head um, I've reset my own phone to total stock It's 2.3.3 as is the Sensation We're going to kick things off with, uh, with a boot test So I'm just going to power them both down The lights sensation is done. Galaxy S is done. So I'll try and get them turned on at the same time. That was pressing at the same time. The HTC looked a bit slower to come up with its splash screen. Galaxy S into its boot animation. Sensation into its. Media scanner running, there it is. Now, I might try a second run just to be sure. I was pressing buttons at the same time, but it did look like the HTC just. Populating this list, there we go. So, I mean, the sensation looked a bit slower. I'm going to try that once more though, just to be sure. Okay, let's watch the buttons when they go out. Okay. So. Looking like the same as the last one. Galaxy S into its animation already. Sensation just a couple of seconds behind. Galaxy S lock screen. Galaxy S app drawer. So there's not a great deal of difference. Well, maybe there is. Come okay, on. But definitely, the uh, Galaxy S wins the boot time test. One nil. Okay. Welcome back. I'm now going to test the um, the volumes of both devices. But um, while while we're here, just notice the difference of the brightness. I've not changed anything, so I'm, I think they're both on auto. Look how bright that is compared to the sensation. Anyway, we're not doing a screen test at this point. We're doing a volume test. Now, traditionally, HTC have really struggled. The S2 is clocking around 80, 81. And interestingly, the sensation touching up on 82 for a second there, which is um, definitely not anything that a HTC device, you know, they've never before managed to match against the Samsung when it comes to the speaker on the phone. So that's quite interesting. Um, that's been one of my big uh, complaints with HTCs for a long while. Now I do have, hopefully, I can play a, a short excerpt of a music track without this getting banned from uh, from YouTube. So we'll, we'll start with the Galaxy S2 again. That was around same sort of marks, 80, 82.
So I think oh, it's hard to tell. I think the Galaxy S still has the edge there. It just sounds a bit of a better, um, a better sound. But the sensation, the HTC have definitely made some improvements. I'm just curious if I bring them. Not a great difference. Yeah, so I think uh, I'm going to award that one to the Galaxy S, so it's 2 0 to Samsung at this point. Okay, so we're going for a GPS test now. Um, I am indoors, so I don't know how it before it's worked. Let's hope it will this time. Both of them are totally fresh installs. GPS has not been used in any way on either of them yet, but I've downloaded GPS status. GPS is turned on on them both, as you can see. So hopefully this test will work. They've both got a Wi-Fi connection. Ooh, the sensation making some good ground. Sensation has a lock. Nine of nine. The Galaxy S2 has a lock. Eight of nine. Nine of nine. Ten of ten. So that was very fast by the sensation. Where's the accuracy? Oh, although the sensation, oh no, it's not. I thought the sensation lost them for a second. Sorry, there it is, 15 meters to 5 meters, although they're both jumping in and out a bit. But we have to give that one to the sensation, great job. That was a very fast lock. And it looks like, well, accuracy wise, they both seem to bounce back and forward a little bit, so. Accuracy is probably similar, but yep, Sensation wins the GPS test, pulls it back, 2 to 1. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do a browser test now. Hopefully I can tap the link for HammerDroids at the same time and we'll see which loads the quickest. So, sensation, maybe... Maybe not. It's going to be very, very close. The Galaxy S has it. Just. That was very close. I'll just have a look at them scrolling as well. I think the Galaxy S is a bit smoother, but I could be wrong. Okay, so that was the first one to the Galaxy S, two. So we're back for round two. Just a side note, I've cranked them both up now to full brightness. And uh, it's quite an interesting difference. Although, I mean, you can't see it so much because this is a white screen, but the, the sensation, although it does look much brighter now, it looks a little bit washed out. We'll perhaps see when the page loads. So, we're going to play.com this time. I don't know, hopefully they've not got a mobile site, one that's going to load a, I want one that'll load a full. It looks like the Galaxy S2 has edged it again. There it is, yeah. So, I mean, there's not a great deal of difference once more. I think the S2 looks a lot smoother. Just looks slightly jittery on the sensation. But there you go, judge for yourselves, look. Okay, so it's 2 0. We'll do one more just to see if the sensation can, uh, can save face. So the last one I'm going to try is NFL.com. It probably will revert to a mobile site, but let's see how quick. Oh, that was, yeah, maybe because it's the mobile version, that was almost identical. So we'll call it a tie, but I think the Galaxy S2 wins the browser test. So there we have it. The Samsung Galaxy S2 versus the HTC Sensation make of that testing what you will. I realise it's not the most scientific test that we've done but uh, perhaps give you a little idea. Um, the, the S2 won I would say but there's very little between them. It's not uh, 
I wouldn't imagine that would be a deal breaker that you'd watch that and say, well, the, the S2 booted up in three seconds shorter time than the S Sensation. That's the one I'm buying. Um, they're both fantastic devices, and it's really, you need to have a play yourself. I think Sense is a, is a, is a big factor. If you like Sense, then Sensation is probably the way to go. Um, otherwise, perhaps the S2 is the one to, to get. There we go. I'm sure you'll have plenty of comments for me down below. Let us know what you think. Check us out on the actual website, hemijoys.net. I know a lot of you guys watch the videos, perhaps don't even realise we do have a full website where a lot more content is. You know, people are often asking, where, where's the review for this phone? Where's the review for that phone? Well, it's on the website. We don't always do it as a YouTube video. So do head over, hemijoys.net. My name's Andy. See you again soon.